O Lord, open now our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm number one. Blessed is the man that hath not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stood in the way of sinners, and hath not sat in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law will he exercise himself day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the waterside, that will bring forth his fruit in due season. His leaf also shall not wither, and look, whatsoever he doeth, it shall prosper. As for the ungodly, it is not so with them, but they are like the chaff which the wind scattereth away from the face of the earth. Therefore the ungodly shall not be able to stand in the judgment, neither the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. But the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, and the way of the ungodly shall perish. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the 22nd verse of the 50th chapter of the book of Genesis. Joseph stayed in Egypt along with all his father's family. He lived a 110 years and saw the third generation of Ephraim's children. Also the children of Machir, son of Manasseh, were placed at birth on Joseph's knees. Then Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die, but God will surely come to your aid and take you up out of this land to the land he promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And Joseph made the Israelites swear an oath and said, God will surely come to your aid, and then you must carry my bones up from this place. So Joseph died at the age of 110, and after they embalmed him, he was placed in a coffin in Egypt. Here endeth the first lesson. The Cantate Domino O sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvellous things. With his own right hand and with his holy arm hath he gotten himself the victory. The Lord declared his salvation, his righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and truth towards the house of Israel, and all the ends of the world have seen the salvation of our God. Show yourselves joyful unto the Lord, all ye lands. Sing, rejoice, and give thanks. Praise the Lord upon the harp. Sing to the harp with a psalm of thanksgiving, with trumpets also and shawms. O oh, show yourselves joyful before the Lord the King. Let the sea make a noise, and all that therein is, the round world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, and let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, for he cometh to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world, and the people with equity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the thirteenth verse of the second chapter of the Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So Joseph got up, took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realised that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious, and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. 
for those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets, that he would be called a Nazarene. Here endeth the second lesson. The Deus Miseriator. God be merciful unto us and bless us, and show us the light of his countenance and be merciful unto us, that, they way, that thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among the all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God, yea, let all the people praise thee. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for thou shalt judge the folk righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God, yea, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, even our own God, shall give us his blessing. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the world shall fear him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God our Father, who from the house of thy servant David didst raise up Joseph the carpenter to be the guardian of thine incarnate Son and husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, give us grace to follow him in faithful obedience to thy commands, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant we beseech the Almighty God that we, who for our evil deeds do worthily deserve to be punished, by the comfort of thy grace may mercifully be relieved, through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, 
for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let us pray for the Church in God's world, and inspired by the example of Joseph, ask for grace to grow in faith and holiness, and to follow ever more closely in the way of Christ. Joseph was the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. May we value our family life at home and in the wider family of the Church. We pray for our benefice, for our clergy, lay leaders, people, congregations and all who live and work within our parishes. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph was not afraid to take Mary as his wife when he learned that the child conceived in her was from the Holy Spirit. May we have no fear when we hear God's call to his service. We pray for all exploring their vocations to ministry, the religious life or public service. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph was a righteous man and unwilling to expose Mary to public disgrace. May we lead lives of integrity and be concerned for the reputation of others. We pray for our national leaders and all in public life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph named the child Jesus, the one who will save his people from their sins. May we make known to others the salvation he came to bring. We pray for those who have not heard the gospel of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph protected the infant Jesus and his mother from the wrath of Herod. May we always seek to shield those who are weak and vulnerable. We pray for the sick, the suffering, the helpless, the lonely, and all who are in need of God's comfort and care. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph took his family and returned to his native land. We remember those who have recently died, together with those whom we hold dear. May we with them and all the faithful departed be welcome to the banquet of eternal life in our true native land. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God, we give you thanks for Joseph and for the whole company of your saints in glory, with whom in fellowship we join these our prayers and praises. By your grace may we, like them, be made perfect in your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfil now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all, evermore. Amen.